It took St. Peter's less than an hour to sell out of its tickets for Friday's game. Sure, it helps that it's being played in Philadelphia, fewer than 100 miles from the St. Peter's campus, but the Peacocks bandwagon is filling up fast. A whole lot of people want to watch the biggest underdog left in this year's tournament. It's the smallest school still playing, and New Jersey's only team to reach the Sweet 16 in more than two decades. The whole state can rally around us, and now it's becoming a national thing, and it's just been a beautiful thing. Players came home from Indianapolis last weekend as conquering heroes. The first NCAA tournament wins in St. Peter's school history led to a lot of emotions on campus. A uh, professor told me that he had cried, you know, really? he, he was shedding tears, you know. So that's just, that just touches your heart by itself, you know, just for having a support system like that, that winning brings tears to the eyes, that, that's just amazing. It was amazing. I was supposed to have a class, uh, I mean, a test Monday, but uh, my professor gave me a few extra days to to remake that. The nation's newest Cinderella story has learned a lot from fourth year head coach Shaheen Holloway. Their biggest takeaway might be to not think of themselves as a Cinderella. I don't think of us uh, as that. I'm pretty sure if you ask anybody, we don't we don't think of ourselves as that. We, we think of ourselves as a, as, as a great program and a great team. Me personally, I believe in us the whole time. You know, um, I feel like we could play with anybody. People, you know, just counted us out, doubted us. But, you know, we love being doubted, love being the underdogs. You know, that's how we prevail and thrive. Technically, it's an upset, but I, uh, my belief and I feel like my team's belief is that it wasn't an upset. And I feel like we, we have the ability to be anybody in the country. And uh, we're just going to go out there for no matter who we're playing against, we're going to do our best, play, hard, play as hard as we can, and try to get the win. Holloway will coach in the Sweet 16 22 years after playing in it with Seton Hall. That's the last time a New Jersey school got this far in the big dance. I've been through it, you know, but these guys, I tell these guys, just listen, you, you put yourself in this situation. It's a good thing, just enjoy it, but don't, don't let it get to your head. Us seeing him compose, it were, we become poised. And we're just, uh, we're out there, we're all relaxed. We know we put in the hard work. That Seton Hall connection could keep Holloway from returning to St. Peter's. The Pirates are in the market for a new head coach. And last week, outgoing coach Kevin Willard recommended Holloway to replace him. If I'm not here next year, I'd love to, if Shaheen Holloway's here, then that'd be the happiest thing that ever happened to me. He's a tremendous person. He's a tremendous um, teacher. There's little doubt that Holloway is now attracting interest from bigger programs than St. Peter's. The school's president doesn't dispute that and says if Holloway goes, he leaves behind a solid legacy. You take a drive for the championship, I will promise you that we will invest more in athletics and invest in a renovation of that facility. And we did that. Uh, and so whatever happens with Coach Holloway, he has had an indelible impact on St. Peter's University. Dr. Kornakius says the school's administration is focused on this weekend. And frankly, so are a lot of people who did not expect a Jersey City Jesuit school to become the darlings of this year's big dance. If you still want to call the Peacocks a Cinderella story, they'll try to add a few more pages on Friday when they take on powerful Purdue in the Sweet 16.